I'm emotionally drained. It's like I'm numb. I don't have no feelings. I've cried so much till my eyelids are so, so I don't know what it's gonna be like because she's not here. Kayla Lagarde's mother, Chantel Finney, is still trying to grasp at the reality that her daughter is gone. The bubbly teenager had a full life ahead and a blossoming future at Carver High School. She was so happy. She finally made it into high school. She had then made the dance team and she was just so excited. She used to always say, Beyonce ain't got nothing on me. I said, girl, you weigh 90 pounds. I used to say, Beyonce ain't got nothing on you. Thursday night, just before 11, Lagarde's sister, who was driving their Pontiac Grand Am, says she and another person convinced their mother to let them go to Brothers for a late night snack. But within seconds of getting on the interstate, police say a driver in a burgundy Nissan Maxima slammed into their car in the right lane, then veered into a truck in the left lane before taking off on foot and bolting from the scene. Lagarde's mother says Kayla was no stranger to dangerous accidents, but she never thought she'd leave her world like this. Kayla was hit by a driver at the age of two. She was in a body cast. Doctor said she wouldn't make it, but she pulled through. Now it's nearly impossible for Finney to pull through this tragedy. Lost without her daughter, she was able to recover one keepsake from her little girl after she was killed. Kayla took this chain from me a month and a half ago, and I begged Kayla every day, Kayla, you can give me my chain back. And she wouldn't give it back, but I didn't want it back like this. If I could switch places with my daughter, I would. I would. If she, for her to have a second chance. Rob Krieger, Fox 8 News.